Welcome back, friends. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use vectors to prove that the angle is 90 degrees inside a circle with a basically a side along the diameter. So please remember on this channel, I usually post more advanced, abstract math videos. So if you're into that, this is the channel to be, a channel to be. So imagine that we begin with a circle like this. All right, let's make it a bit better than that. Eh, I guess the idea across. And then imagine this is the diameter. So then draw this from here to here. Now this looks like it might be about 90 degrees. Okay, so let's draw perhaps a less perfect looking triangle, that maybe one that kind of looks like this. So now one of the sides, like this side is longer than this side. Our goal is to use vectors to prove that that really is 90 degrees there. So we can reason as follows. Let's say this is O right here. And then you have to proceed then by this right here we'll call this a vector we'll call this u and then let's aim another let's name rather another vector in here so let's see let's call it here this is another vector we'll call this one v so that's v now we have a vector u and a vector v and when you add these vectors what happens well label these points call this a call this b and then call this c right here when you form u plus v you're going to have u plus v that's equal to a b so it's a b this way so remember these are vectors so i'm just going to mark that with little lines like that above them so that's that vector basically add this and this gives you this now if you take b and you flip it and you basically place it here and you connect it's going to give you that vector right there b c in other words u minus v would be this b c right here okay like that. Just imagine that's vector notation. So if you like little arrows instead of lines. Now, how can we use this? Well, to show that this is a 90 degree angle, we got to show these two are perpendicular somehow. So we're beginning with this. So how can we do it? Well, let's see. Let's form A, B, and just dotted with B, C. If the dot product is zero, they really are perpendicular, a basic fact. So we're going to have the following in here then uh, U plus V. Okay, dotted with, let's see, u minus v. And then we apply the basic properties of dot products as a dot. Okay, let me switch maybe to a thinner piece of chalk. So it fits a bit better. So it's going to be u dotted with u. So u dotted with u this way. And then u dotted with negative v. So minus u dotted with v. And then v dotted with u. So plus v dotted with u. And then v dotted with negative v, so minus v dotted with v. Now, there's a basic principle that applies here, of course. And like this still cancels with this, they're opposite in sign. And then the vector dotted with itself, it's the magnitude of the vector like this squared. And the same thing over here, minus the magnitude of the vector v squared. Now, make that a line. But of course, if you come back over here, you can tell that u, the magnitude, that's just r, the radius of the circle. So this is going to give us r squared minus r squared because v, as you can see, is right here. That's also the radius of the circle. Therefore, we end up with zero. In other words, a, b, dot, it would be c really is zero. Therefore, this really is, now we have confirmed right here, 90 degrees and Stuff like this is what you can do with vectors. I like it. Friends, if you're into math videos at this level of abstraction, or however you used to imagine it for yourself, please be sure to subscribe and like. I'll see you in another video, and check out the other videos on this channel.